everybody, Boris Schlossberg here, and I'm going to walk you through how to use MetaTrader 5 in a web-based, browser-based version. Um, the first thing you need to do is go to trade.mql5.com forward slash trade. That's uh, the website that will allow you to launch a web-based MT5 trading platform. The next thing we're going to do is fill in our credentials for the account. So in this particular case, I'm going to use the account that I have, 011, put in my password, just like you would do on a regular account. Then it's very, very important that you select MetaTrader 5 and you select 8cap-live or, you know, whatever, whatever server you have. But you need to select the 8cap server and MetaTrader 5. Um, and once you've done that, you're logged in automatically into your account, as you can see right over here. So um, logging into the MetaTrader 5 web-based account, you can see there's a lot of similarities between the 5 on the web and the 5 as an application. But there are clearly some limitations, and I need to just make you aware of those limitations as well as the functionalities that are available here. Uh, first of all, the chart itself really only has a black and white coloration. It doesn't allow you to kind of color the candles green and white. Um, so the, the uh, red candles are effectively black. The green candles or um, the blue candles are white in this particular case. This is a one minute chart of the US 30. And as you can see, the market watch window, very, very similar to the one that you would have in your normal application. And of course you can add um, any kind of instrument that ACAP trades, including uh, over here, we have the US 30, we have the French, we have the uh, German 30, uh, Euro dollar, you could even uh, trade a Bitcoin, BTC USD, um, just simply add that on there, and you can have the quotes for anything, crypto, FX, commodities, um, and indices. So I'll just use indices, I use my, my favorite um, instrument in the world, US 30, as, as an example of how we can kind of get ourselves comfortable around this MT5 walkabout. So the other interesting thing of, that's very similar to the application is that we can add indicators to our chart. Um, all we have to do is simply go into insert indicators. And for example, let's say I wanted to add a moving average. I can just go to trend or Bollinger Bands. This is another one. This is something that's very, very common. I can go to trend, um, choose Bollinger Bands, and uh, choose the regular, you know, two standard deviation Bollinger Bands, and you can see that they're applied to the chart, um, just like you would do um, on a regular chart. What's not possible on the web, and I'm going to just delete this, just like um, just like you would off the uh, chart. What's not possible is to apply proprietary indicators, you know, things that you may have developed or may you may have bought, or that are not built in to the MT5 platform. Anything proprietary is not available because this is a web-based platform and nothing is executable here. So it's all essentially living in the sky, living in the cloud. Um, and you're basically trading a cloud-based version of MetaTrader 5. Um, on the other hand, almost all the other functionality, very, very similar. So here we have the buy-sell panel, right? So if I wanted to, uh, to buy, um, uh, I would buy the US 30. And of course, I, you know, I, I get a, um, warning signal saying, oh, do you want to execute this uh, properly? Let me see what's going on over here. Why is this not buying over here? What's happening here? Instant buy. Oh, I have a requote. I got a requote. Um, okay, so let's just buy this again. Let's see if we can do it again. And now we're in the position. And um, you can see that I now I'm holding a position, smallest possible volume. And just like in the um, application, I can uh, modify the order right over here. See it pops up. I can put a stop loss in prices or in points. So let's just say I'm going to put a 400 point stop loss and a 400 point um, take profit. And now I've modified it. And now the trade is uh, is working for me with a stop loss and a take profit, just like you would um, exactly in uh, in the application. Furthermore, um, if you wanted to close the position, it works exactly just like in the application. You can simply hit the X over here to get rid of it, or you could right click on it and say uh, close position and uh, you, you know, it's done. And you know, and you're closing the position right over here. Or if you want to do a super fast close, you could just simply hit the X button 
and you're done and the position is closed. So you have all this basic functionality that I think works super well in a very, very simple format. Um, you also have, of course, all of the various ribbons up here that allow you um, all of the key functionality that we have in the application. So we can go, we can change our time frames from one minute to five minute to 15 minute to 30 to one hour to weekly to even monthly charts if we wanted to, um, or we can stay on a, on a smaller time frame. Um, we can have all sorts of, um, uh, you know, we obviously can, can, can go from candlesticks to, to bar charts to line graphs, but of course, almost everybody trades candlesticks. And, you know, we can have all sorts of annotations here and tools. Uh, here's the crosshair tool. Here's the, um, uh, tr uh, the vertical tool. Um, here's the uh, trend line tool that we can serve, you know, the, the uh, uh, horizontal line, vertical line that can create support resistance. And here's the trend line that we can draw over here to give us um, ideas of, you know, of how we can annotate and analyze the charts. So a lot of the functionality very much present here in MT5, but uh, of course not all of it. And that's the key thing. It's just it's a sort of a simplified version, and we can delete the objects here and clean our charts up if we wanted to. It's a simplified version that makes it very very clean and easy for you to um, essentially trade any instrument you like. There's also a couple of cool functionalities that are brought over from from the application that make it very easy to change the look and feel of the chart. So let's say, you know, I'm looking at the US 30 now, but what if I wanted to look at currencies um, and uh, I didn't want to change my, um, is this, sorry, that's not currencies. <laughs> let's, let's pull up Euro here. Let's see, I'm the Euro USD. Um, here's my currencies. Now, it, you know, one of the tricks that some of you may not know is that you could literally drag the instrument onto the chart and it will change to the instrument that you want to look at. So instead of you having to type in or change the chart, you can literally just drag fresh instrument with the same set of um, analytical tools as far as your technical analysis goes. And here, uh, as you can see, that's what's happened here in the Euro. And of course you can do the exact same thing here. So, you know, for example, let's say we wanted to sell the Euro here and we sold the Euro um, and we want to close it out. Very easy, all done um, with a point and click of a button. So overall, as you can see, uh, the menus are very similar with the functionality in terms of uh, market watch, your toolbox, you can go full screen, you can insert a whole bunch of pre-built cloud-based indicators, including the Fibonacci retrace uh, levels, Elliott waves, uh, various shapes that you wanted to put in here, like rectangles, various graphical callouts that you wanted to do, like I don't know if you, um, if you wanted to annotate, um, annotate this uh, you know, text, you could put some you know, text here and um, something that I never do, but um, you know, very cool in a sense that this allows you to essentially work in the cloud, work in, in your browser. As a matter of fact, one of the very cool things, of course, is that you, um, you uh, don't even need a, a PC to make this work because you can, all this can be done in the Mac as well. It's all cloud-based. Um, that's what makes it so flexible. And if you are sort of a casual trader that's looking to you know, put swing positions on um, that uh, can analyze the charts in peace and quiet. This is an excellent and very, very simple and easy functionality for you to do. That's MetaTrader 5 on ACAP in the cloud. Trade.mql5.com forward slash trade is how you get there. And just simply type in your credentials and voila, the whole uh, MetaTrader world is right in front of you. Boris Schlossberg. Over now.